I believe this game is going to be big. And this game is Marauders. Marauders is a new game coming out, published by Team 17. And I'll go into why I believe this game will be really big. But if you are interested in this game and you are going to be getting it, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be plenty of content coming out for this game, such as guides, tips, streams, and my own progress, including little challenges I'll do like Zero to Hero. So Marauders is a new extraction looter shooter where the whole aim of the game really is to get more money, progress through your quests or contracts or tasks, get better loot, you know, better guns, better armor, and sort of rinse and repeat, you know, keep killing people, keep getting better stuff and just keep dominating people. So this genre of games, the extraction looter shooter, is gonna see a big boom of similar games. And I think it's all down to Escape from Tarkov because that is an incredibly popular game. There have been other games out in this genre already. I would class Hunt Showdown as like an extraction looter shooter. It's not really about loot, but it's about killing a boss, getting the bounty token and extracting from that. And that's the same sort of similar feel. You've had the cycle, which started off as sort of a different genre of game, and now it's been completely like retooled into an extraction looter shooter. But this game, you've got to really compare it to Tarkov because Tarkov is the the big boy of the genre, and Tarkov is known for being a really hardcore, unforgiving game. In Tarkov, there's quite in-depth gun mechanics. There are a ton of different guns in the game. When you're setting up your gun, you know, you've got to get your magazine set up into your inventory. You've got to load all your bullets into your mags. You've got to decide between which variation of ammo for your gun you're going to use, such as if you're using a gun that's, say, 9mm, there's going to be like four or five different types of 9mm ammo to use and they're all got different characteristics. In Marauders, it's not like that, it is just 9mm. If your gun uses 9mm, you just put some 9mm ammo into your inventory and you don't have to worry about magazines. It is using like the traditional ammo management from like many other games where you just reload, you don't lose any bullets, it just stocks up your current bullet count in your gun. Also with Tarkov, the gun attachment system is insane. And I don't think we're gonna get a game like that that uses that level of detail with attachments in a very long time, if ever. And Marauders, it doesn't use that. It's a much more simpler attachment system, such as the Sten gun. You can attach a silencer to it, and that's it, nothing else. The MP40, you can put a stock on it and I think another silencer on it, but there's only like one type of silencer for that weapon, one type of stock. And when it comes to Tarkov, there's again, tons of different silencers, tons of different stocks. So with Marauders, again, it's simpler. You don't have to keep a huge stash of different attachments or knowledge in your head about what attachment really is best. It's just this one attachment. And when it comes to healing as well, Tarkov is quite an in-depth healing system. You don't just use a first aid kit to heal yourself. You get different status effects from getting damaged, such as light bleeding, heavy bleeding, fracture, and probably some others. And you've got to use a certain type of healing item or certain type of first aid kit to heal that particular effect. But when it comes to Marauders, you just use a healing item and it just refills your health. You don't have limb damage, it's just health. You don't have to worry about micromanaging your body parts and status effects. But is simple bad? Well, no. I think by making it simple in this way, you can have a greater emphasis on just playing the game. You know, in terms of getting into the raids, killing people, looting and getting out. You don't have to worry about all this extra little stuff going on. You can just stay really focused on the act of killing, raiding, questing, looting, and getting out. The game also has this really unique diesel punk aesthetic. So the lore for the game is I believe that World War II pretty much never ended and Earth itself is kind of screwed and it led to everyone sort of going into space and you're essentially like a pirate raiding to essentially get resources, get better stuff, get richer. And that kind of explains why there's World War II weapons in the game, which I will openly admit is weird because I think the actual year for the game is like the late 90s. And if World War II never ended, you would expect weapon technology to at least progress because they have got space age technology. 
but there's still MP40s, the Stem gun, SVT40, but there's also later guns as well, such as like an Uzi, an M16, and there are some like made up weapons as well. But I will admit, you know, I do love World War II games, so using these World War II weapons for me is, is kind of cool. I do like using them. So with it being set in space, there is spaceship combat. Every single raid you start, you will start on your little ship. You always have this default ship called the Rust Bucket available. Even if you abandon it, you will always have this ship, so you don't need to worry about that. You can craft better ships when you unlock them. You unlock crafting options when you level up. You get like a token to use and unlock different crafting recipes. The crafting is simple. You just need a certain amount of resources or items and click craft and then go away for a little time when you're done. But you can craft bigger ships and you can just steal bigger ships from other players because it is set in space you can of course use your gun on your ship to destroy enemy player ships this doesn't kill the player off it just means they have to use an escape pod to get off their ship but you can damage them while they're trying to get off the ship and in their little escape pod you can actually blow them up and in these escape pods these are what you actually use to breach into other player ships so you can just focus on that if you want if you want real sort of hardcore pvp just straight away use your ship get into an escape pod and breach into another player's ship and these ships are multi crew ships even the default one the default one has two spots one for a pilot one for a gunner if you are solo you will be flying and gunning at the same time and i think the bigger ships you can craft do have extra spots for extra people as well and the crew size you can have is up to four players. There are also some rare AI ships that can spawn in. They do have like a low percent chance to spawn in, but these ships do have or can have some really good loot and they're full of AI enemies. So again, it's this extra sort of variation in the gameplay because when you spawn into these raids, at least at the time of recording, you don't get to choose which level you go to, which I hope they do actually add that ability in to choose where you want to go. But if you don't want to raid the station that you see when you spawn in, if there's an AI ship, go take that out instead. Now the game will be launching into early access and I will say there is a bit of jankiness to the game. Hopefully this sort of janky feeling does get ironed out, but this game is just really fun to play. It has the highest of highs where you have a really good raid, get loads of loot and get out, but also those crushing lowest of lows where you could have a really good raid, get loads of loot and get killed before you extract or get killed as soon as you start a raid. When I was doing the test, I did start off on a bit of a losing streak, even having some good raids and then getting killed. Maybe I was getting a bit too greedy before extracting, but then you get a few good raids in and then before you know it, I'm swimming in cash, more than doubled the starting amount of money with a full inventory with some rarer weapons. So you can quickly turn things around if you do get on a bit of a losing streak and it just feels so damn good doing it as well. When the game releases, I will be playing this a ton. So. Like I said at the beginning, if you do want more content from Marauders, I will be putting up gameplay videos of my own in-game progress. Little challenges such as going from zero to hero, quest, contract and task guides, general tip videos. I will be streaming and I will want to squad up with viewers for my streams. So if that sounds appealing to you, please hit that subscribe button. It'll mean a hell of a lot to me. Give this video a like if you liked it. And thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.